hi, y'all. I want to share a little bit of uh, gardening tips with you. My mother had a green thumb. Anything she planted just grew beautifully. I'm not quite that gifted, but I do love to garden, and as you know, I love to can. Uh, made out of tin. I bought this from Eddie LeBlanc. So in this container, I have uh, tomatoes, and I have the fencing to uh, tie it on. Every day, I water this. But inside the container, you can also plant other things. These are carrots. And by the time I finish digging my carrots, this is a cucumber plant. And you notice it's, it's vining. It's getting ready to vine onto that fencing part. This here is an example of, see my pansies? I had it full of pansies. But before the pansies died down or before I pulled them out, I have three big tomato plants in here. In this garden, I have my pansies. As you can see, they're still blooming. But this is uh, peppers. You see my little pepper right here? So I have two pepper plants inside of my container plant. And this plant next to the pansies is cucumbers. And then above that, in the same planter, or uh, string beans. Hey, hi, Gigi. <laughs> hi. You finding any beans? I am. Uh huh. Do you eat string beans? I don't, but I like picking them and I like pickling them. Yes. I like growing them. I, I put it on Facebook that we were uh, picking string, be string beans and I had three responses that people wanted them to put in their martinis. Yes, I've actually uh, Bloody Marys. A Bloody Mary, sorry, not martinis. May hi again. This is okra, and what I'm going to do here is, uh, it's too close together. You see how it, there's too many, too many seeds in one spot? So I'm going to scoop up the okra, and I'm going to transplant it. So I'll put one here, I'll put one here, put another one in here. Pardoning. One of the secrets is that you have to water. Last week I showed y'all, or two weeks ago probably, I showed y'all I was transplanting okra. That was too thick. Well, look at the size of these. That's the okra I transplanted two weeks ago. And you can see that it's uh, more than tripled in size. And you can see the first little okra right here. That'll be ready to pick in a few, a few days. Now, what's over here that I showed you earlier was all of my cucumbers. Okay, I'm gonna show you what, how I'm planting. These are eggplants, okay? So out of this, in this container, I made another row. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting fertilizer in the little row I've made right here. You see, I kind of had a row. So I'm gonna put fertilizer at the bottom. Then I'm gonna come back, my bean bag go. And I'm going to drop my beans on top of that fertilizer. See all the beans? And I'm gonna come back cover my beans. Not with a lot of dirt, very thin layer. I'll cover them. Okay, then I've, I've already planted my uh, eggplant here. Well, I know you'll like my outfit. I tell my kids it takes me longer to dress to come outside than it did when I went to the prom. I wear a hat, I wear gloves, I wear sunscreen, I wear sunglasses, I always wear a long sleeve shirt. That's to protect myself from the sun. Um, the reason I do that is because when I was young and foolish, which I'm sure you find hard to believe, I would sit on the beach like my grandchildren do now. I'd sit and put uh, baby oil to make sure I got really dark. Well, since that time, I've had a couple of skin cancers, so now I'm more careful. And uh, to protect myself, I wear a lot of covering. So. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, hi, Pete. Hi, Gran. Well, Cher, I wanted to show y'all my helping hand. Turn that across. I say, boy.
<laughs> we call him perfect peter he just filmed me doing the uh, the uh the beans so i'm gonna have to let him go finish working mm -hmm. he's very inexpensive he works for me for free all i have to do is feeding oh yeah and bye-bye pete bye y'all